She plays a feisty teen who is not afraid to speak her mind. Mom, I swear, she's a really good person. What'd she do? She just got in a fight at the mall and happened to have a pocket knife on her, which she says every 16-year-old girl should have for safety. Plus, the cop was a racist jerk. So she's almost 18 and fresh out of juvie for assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Ice is melting. I'm hungry. You don't even know her. How can you be so judgmental? I mean, when you were her age, didn't you steal a car? Got him. From the hot new drama, The Equalizer, please welcome Leia De Leon. Hey! <laughs> I love this intro. Thank uh, you. Well, Thank you, you, deserve, you deserve the intro. And uh, again, thanks for the text, Leia, for us to co coordinate on this Friday Thanks morning. For twinning. Yes, That's right. As yes, we, we are. And a high five is in order. Where's my hand? All right, let's go. Let's Kaboom. go. Boom. High five. Boom. Bam. Show all Bam. already renewed. Doing amazing. Where I is mean, this? Where is the celebration? What can I say? This is exciting. We're the sun today. I mean, <laughs> I got I got banana pudding from Magnolia Bakery. I guess that's kind of like some celebration. And I'm looking like the banana pudding today. Oh, you, the <laughs> best banana pudding ever known to man. Let me just say this: as this is the best show a lot of people have seen in a long time because they're looking for stuff to do Sunday night. And this is just an incredible way to do it. So let's talk about Delilah. Thank you. Because, yes. because she, she doesn't know that her mom is the equalizer, but right. she has equalizer traits in her anyway, as we saw in that scene. She does, yes. There's definitely some foreshadowing there, you know. Um, she doesn't know that her mom is really an equalizer. She thinks she works for some kind of charity. Um, but you can definitely see that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, especially with what we explore in episode four, with her wanting to fix the pothole. And now in episode <laughs> six, when you see it, the one you see on Sunday. Um, so she's definitely very passionate, and it's fun that we get to explore that. Oh, and then you, when you say, you know, she doesn't know her mom is the equalizer, we know her mom in real life is the queen herself, Queen Latifah. Woo! I can't even, I met her once, like, and I, and I was just like, oh my, I wanted to ask her for the, you know, the hat she used to wear back in the day for her rapping days? I was yes. like, because I, I would wear it every single day. So, like, <laughs> you are, you are like one lucky woman, I'm telling you. Thank you. Yes, I really am. I'm, I cannot tell you how grateful I am. She is a true queen, exactly. Um, she just, she has this light about her. I mean, and it's showing on the show. People are resonating with her and her character and um, every character on the show, and I, I love it. All right, and, and then we're talking about Queen Latifah, who we got to know because of her rapping talent as a rapper and a singer, and your voice you have used to, I guess, no, I'm not going to say just kids, to, to influence kids, because I watched it with my knees. Doc McStuffins? Really, Doc? Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. And you were nine Thank then? Thank you. I was nine years old. One of the, that was like the first voiceover project that I ever booked. One of my first projects, period. And I, I, I did that role for about six, seven years. We still do toys sometimes. Um, and it's great. It's great seeing the impact. It's impacted both teens and kids and adults. And it's awesome. Oh my God. You are awesome because you were, you were raised, you were born in North Carolina. You've lived in Texas. Uh, you moved to LA to pursue your acting career. Now you're in New York yes. shooting. We're going to spend the summer going to get our hair braided for protective style and then i know something you know really well that you can help me do you oh, you're good that? at rollerblading no. i am gonna oh my goodness how did you know this on, i am girl. good at rollerblading i'm an equalizer when it comes to stalking you're an equalizer when it comes to... i love that look i will teach you how to rollerblade you tell me where you get your box braids from i will tell you how to rollerblade i've got skating in my blood um really? and i will show you i don't yes. even, i don't i'm so i'm afraid i can't balance so i think you're gonna help me work on it does it matter if i get the rollerblades or can i do the skates which one's easier uh i think you should do you should start off with skates okay. i think Roll because they're like the four wheels, two in the front, two in the back. All Those right. might be easier. All right. But rollerblading, once we get past the roller skating, then you can start rollerblading. All right, then. I'll, t I'll take you to, uh, I get my hair braided in New Jersey. It's Aisha Hair. And I'll get, get I know her. I'll tell, I'll tell the owner that you're going to come get your hair braided and you're going to love it. Like I text you this morning, you text me um, te that name girl, as well. I, wait, where's my phone? I'm going to text you. Uh, while I text her, people, make sure you tune in Sunday nights to CBS to check her out. Equalizer, she equalized. She's not the equalizer, but she might as well be. She's equalizer in the making. Leia, such a pleasure to meet you. Love you. Thank you so much. And we're much. so proud of you.